And the Archbishop of Woke, Justin Welby, continues to stick his nose into politics after attacking the government's legal migration bill and the crucial Rwanda deterrent in the House of Lords. I urge the government to reconsider much of the bill, which fails to live up to our history, our moral responsibility and our, politically, our political and international interests. Acting to LB's virtue signalling twaddle, the Daily Mail rightly asks on their front page today, what's so moral about not stopping people smugglers? Because to use the Archbishop's words, the ungodly thing to do, in my view, would be allowing these criminal gangs to flourish and continue risking people's lives on the channel crossings. Surely, Anne Whittacombe, surely that's what's ungodly. Well, indeed. And um, I would go further on. I would say this to the Archbishop. If he's going to tell us um, what is ungodly, and if he's going to tell us that our legislation uh, is opposed to the laws of God, then he's got to tell us what the laws of God require. You know, what is his solution to this problem? Is it just to let people keep coming, let them risk their lives on the seas, let them go on paying money to people smugglers, let them go on uh, putting a strain on this country that we can't meet. Uh, is that uh, his solution or has he got another one? Well, if he has, please tell us because none of us know what it is. No, because he doesn't have one. Uh, look, Anne, as a, as a God-fearing woman yourself, do you worry about the church becoming politicised with Welby wading in on an issue like this? Well, the fact is the Church of England has been politicised for years. I mean, we all know that. It takes the Liberal line quite reliably uh, every single time. Uh, and so there is no very great surprise in this. Um, I do think it's right that the church should occasionally speak out when it thinks government is doing something wrong. I mean, if you don't believe that, then, you know, the church shouldn't be speaking out against some terrible regimes that we've had in history. Uh, of course, they should, uh, but they must be selective. And as I say, you know, they must say what we should do. It's no good just telling us what we shouldn't do. That That's no good. Uh, and uh, I actually don't think that God blesses the people smugglers. And I don't think he blesses uh, people who uh, put others at risk uh, on the seas. I don't think he blesses any of that. And he doesn't bless the lies that a lot of them tell when they arrive here. And they've come from a perfectly safe country, which is France. And you know, perhaps the Archbishop would like to lecture France on what it should be doing, because as far as I can see, it's doing absolutely nothing, uh, except no. um, quietly turning oh. the other cheek. Well, Indeed. You know, no criticism of France, no criticism of France, which is allowing the people smuggling gangs to thrive, which is not doing anything to actually stop these people getting into the boats in the first place. But of course, no, don't criticise France. Just criticise our government that's actually doing something to try and stop the boats. I mean, I don't think they're doing enough, Anne, as you know. But it makes me really angry that people always equate stopping the boats uh, with being inhumane. It is the reverse the only humane thing to do is to stop the boats, because if you stop the boats, you smash the people smuggling rings and you save lives. Well, you've just got to follow a, a, a logical line. And to say this, we know we cannot take every single person who wants to come here. We know that because half the world wants to come here. Therefore, we have to have rules. Therefore, we have to apply those rules. And to be fair, we've got to make sure that everybody is governed by the same rules. And therefore... People come here from a safe country, uh, and if people come here without a real claim to asylum, they're just economic migrants, then according to those rules, they should be sent back or sent to Rwanda or sent to some safe third country, wherever it might be. That is the rule. What is wrong, Archbishop, with applying the rules fairly and consistently? Very well said, Anne Whitaker. I hope he's listening. I fear he's not. Uh, we will speak I next week. <laughs> Thank you, Winnie.